the air harshed them. I played against a turtle terran who made a wall with planetary and built 348-290-4823 turrets around his bases. They just made defensive planetaries and turrets. How am I ever supposed to attack into this? Widow mines being burrowed and unburrowed to chase and kill my tempest? Can we talk about BCs teleporting constantly? I am convinced TVP is unplayable. I hope you come to conclusion that Terran is Imba. Sincerely, a victim of Terran. Name, Moistship XX. Race, Protoss, Leak Platinum, MMR 3.3. I know this player. It is, it is not your average Protoss player, because this player happens to be my lovely girlfriend as well, going by the nickname of Moistship XX, or Chicken. She's complaining about, what was it again? Turrets, planetaries, widow mines, BCs teleporting constantly, uh, and TVP being unplayable in general. So let's have a cheeky look, shall we? So this is going to be the first episode of Is it Imba or do I sleep on the couch? As um, we have here in the bottom right, the, the beautiful chicken. Top left, Sid Luxer, Terran, player, nasty of course, builds planetary turrets, makes battle cruisers. It's not, not the type of guy you want to invite to your party. In general, don't invite Terrans to your parties, Con constantly complaining that there's not enough salt in the food that you made. Like, this beer doesn't taste like there's any salt in it. <laughs> you know, I need to keep my sodium high. So I, I, I would not recommend. Inviting Terrans to your parties, guys. They're just scrolling through this game a little bit, right? You just don't, don't want to focus too much on the start because it seems like the juicy stuff is about to happen later on in the game. I'm just going to keep a close look on the build order here, which seems to be fine. 20 Cybercore, 20 Nexus, 21 Pylon. Well, 21 Nexus, I guess. Still, okay, it's a little late and it's a probe late. And the Pylon isn't being built at all, but... There's no probes being built before the gas either. Like this build order, it, it isn't tight, you know? It isn't tight. I'd, I'd recommend watching maybe one of my guides on how to open. Now it gets interesting. You see a bunker being placed here. Uh, behind the mineral line. Okay. Reaper comes in. So this bunker is going to be quite annoying. What's this? What are you doing, chicken? Pock, pock, pock. Okay, Robo on the low ground. I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Uh, probe man tries to run away, dies. Okay, now Chicken is aware of the bunker behind the mineral line. What is the response here? So the correct response is single battery over here. So you can shoot with the Stalker while still being healed. Or over here is also fine. You can shoot from here. Um, and then just Chrono Boost out the Stalker. Continue building probes, rally them into the main base. What are we seeing? Second gate. Second stalker should, or the stalker should probably already be out at this point. So it's a little bit late. We see no pro production whatsoever. So without this bunker doing anything right now, the worker count is basically even, um, which is really good for Terran because they have two mules. Also, Terran is already, already mining from his natural. You can also decide to send the adept across straight away once you see this, and once your stalker is out, because adept is kind of useless against this building anyway, like hardly does any damage. Stalker is taking his time still. I feel like we haven't seen a worker being built in the past minute or so. Um, Chrono Boost and Immortal. <laughs> and two batteries. <laughs> this, is not, this is not a good response, okay? This is... <laughs> there used to be this guy um, who... I think he started trading with like a red paper clip or something like that. And then eventually he got like a... He kept trading it in for... A thing every single time. I feel like this is the start of one of those. Stories. I think he ended up with like a four-year record deal, right? Like a, with like a, a two million dollar villa or something like that. After like a bunch of trades, like this is the first trade. This dude invested a bunker which he salvaged and a reaper, and he got out of it two batteries, a chrono boosted immortal, and his opponent forgetting to build probes for four minutes. Like that's one hell of a trade deal. Hey, this, my man Sid Luxer, he, he didn't only read art of the deal, like he wrote part of it. People always wondered who the ghostwriter was. Now we got him, Mr. Sid Luxer over here. Congratulations. New York Times bestseller. And also uh, an accomplished StarCraft player, apparently. 
Uh, walking into a cheeky supply block here as well as chicken uh, gets the third gas one of the good rules you can always follow is that you um, should never get your gases before you have at least 12 or 13 probes on the minerals in the natural or you're just going to be way undersaturated on the minerals especially i guess if you're going to be supply blocked for the duration that your gas is building we see twilight robo bay no chrono boost usage we have a single pylon um, being used in a, a rather optimal way this pylon is powering absolutely every single building that is important um might want to add a second one add the tasteless pylon to the artosis pylon there observer what's this what's this observer gonna say this gas of course a very important gas important assimilator to keep an eye on here we also have one observer on the other side sees the turret being built look at her look at, well, look at her go bang well i don't think this will be in vision range won't it be this is definitely in vision range. Okay, yeah, you might want to move that. Unless Sid Luxor decides that he's building a planetary on the natural. He's defending his lead that he got in the early game with the bunker. He's, he's still banking on that lead in the early game. Still banking on that early game lead. Okay, we now have a Colossi out. Do you have any scouting info? So we see a starport with a tech lab, okay? This indicates banshee slash battlecruiser slash raven at this point you're probably expecting mech as well if there's no like tech lab researching stim yet like at least a mechy composition there's two banshees here already let's see what the response is the response is putting the observer in observer mode completely against the side so you only use half of the observer mode this is very very smart this is minimizing efficiency on this observer rather than putting it here where it still sees this this side as well and also catches part of this now you need probably double or triple the amount of observers if you place them like this that's absolutely brilliant you love to see it uh, this type of uh, reverse efficiency i've heard of reverse engineering before but reverse efficiency is a new term that definitely can be used for this observer placement is luckily going to see the banshees let's take a look at this quick protos response here uh, responses to get another colossi and let's take a look at well, ooh. Would you look at that? Pulls away the workers. Solid moves. Actually, actually a good move. You know what? I, I can I can appreciate that. Then decides to. It's not time yet to kill these uh, these banshees. It might be better to protect the cyber core. Ooh, the pylon. This is <laughs> this is the most important pylon. <laughs> oh no. This is like the one ring in Lord of the Rings. It's the one pylon. Once this one gets destroyed, it's all over. No blink. Managed to let the, the Banshees out of here as well. Maybe you want to send these probes back to work and get the pylon, the, the one pylon back in action. And then Smeagol accidentally ate the ring here. Needs to cuff it up. Build that pylon. Hello? Literally three production structures not doing anything. How, what is our production? We have three gateways. We have three gateways and one robo. So 50% of our production and all of our production and all of our... Uh, uh, upgrade structures right now aren't working. This pylon, is that going to cover everything? I don't think it covers this gateway. Could be wrong though. I don't think it does. Observer, did it change position? Look at that. That's br that's beautiful. Okay, so right now we see two more CCs being built. We still have absolutely no clue what is happening. Uh, except that there's a tank here. So far we've seen three units. Well, four or five units. One, two, three four now and then the two banshees that actually went back home again as well what's on the way is it battle cruisers okay yeah it is, it, well, obviously it's going to be battle cruisers infernal pre-ignited we see more command centers now this looks very tricky but we should not forget that whenever you see a planetary you can't really uh, you can't easily attack into it so what you do instead is you just get a bunch of extra bases you can delay the gases on your third base you just get a fourth base here you get a fifth base here you just get a crap ton of workers the thing is that chicken hasn't been doing that chicken wants to win in a game of technology but um she's behind in technology right now she's in the bronze age the other guy's already thinking about nukes so in that case it's probably <laughs> finally this one gets taken out <laughs> it's been there for four minutes and 
like it, at this point you should be working at getting better economy you know if you have one guy that has a button that can launch a nuke and you have 12 cavemen with bats you're still going to be completely fine getting something like a zealot charge lot archon immortal maybe some stalkers in case of banshee um, it's going to be completely fine and you can deny a fort base with that forever now it's only useful to deny a fort base if you yourself already have a fort base because otherwise you're just keeping the other person on the same amount of bases so you want to get up in economy and then deny outside bases it's going to be hard to attack into that i'll admit that even though you probably can cancel these and uh, at this point you probably should be close to being maxed as a protoss player okay um not quite the case the colossi also double fleet beacon where are you wants to be getting the any impulse crystals and flux veins at the same time very smart move something we don't see every day another gateway being added as well uh, going up to uh, a total number of four gateways maybe we can add another fleet beacon so we can also get the tectonic destabilizers the tempest upgrade going at the same time i feel like that would really add something here 68 workers 138 army supply double fleet beacon amazing three cannons at the fort base um, because we really saw a lot of aggression coming from our opponent who had three tanks and a banshee one cannon would have been enough could have already been on five six bases 90 workers i would have been maxed seven times at this point um, and then your main goal is denying the fort base before it turns into a planetary even though even if a fort turns into a planetary it's very difficult for the terran to basically get a solid defense there as well because he just doesn't have enough units it's getting four more command centers in the main base and more turrets all of these turrets is basically money that he isn't spending on units or economy or bases so every time you see three turrets that's a free nexus for you okay three four turrets and every time you see a planetary at a random location that's another free nexus for you so at the start we already saw planetary here that was a free nexus we saw like 17 freaking turrets everywhere so that's another like five nexus like you could have actually been eight base against three base and just constantly focus on denying that outside base right now this is the timing to attack okay you don't need to do anything else just attack at this point kill this fort base make sure it doesn't go up you have enough to burst down your 170 supply still only on plus one by the way 12 minutes into the game um absolutely no vision like the vision of a freaking mole i like the run by uh, attempt here i'm not quite sure where it is over here thinks the fort base is being taken here probably should just have an observer here have an observer here have an observer here at this point as well and from there on out you can probably do whatever you want 36 workers on this base is pushing it a little bit but i mean there's actually no defense like planetaries are good but not they're not that good you know they're, they're actually not that good at all still on four base here for chicken who really hasn't been doing anything for the past five minutes except building workers and sitting back now she hits max let's see what the plans are when maxed uh, it, this is always a big moment in lower level games is when the supply hits 200 because now something needs to be done that isn't building more units okay run by so that's a big planetary five turrets looks at our army yeah, maybe fifth base now two more tempest on the way chrono boost everything a little bit because now there's no nothing to be done anymore like it's over you know you're complete so what is it you start doing usually you start attacking or at least start thinking about what you could be doing maybe get some more vision on the map doesn't quite seem to be the case intense focus on this pylon finishing Making sure the Nexus is still building. This is the uh, the, the, the micromanaging uh, manager. You know what I mean? This is the guy that stands behind you on your PC as you're uh, as you're trying to craft together your your newest thumbnail for your new YouTube video. That's what I do with Hamster as well every single time. He always has to share screen when he's working, so I can complain about things. <laughs> now Hamster, I think it would be better to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she's doing so she's looking pylons built <laughs> look at pylons oh, there we go see seven battle cruisers move through and it's a good a time to move out with uh, a small part of my army goes to defend against the battle cruisers with four zealots five stalkers and a carrier and then leaves five carriers and two tempest into the natural no now grabs another leaves these two carriers here in case a hellion run by hits the natural or something Okay, these immortals die. Well, they just get F2'd back home. 
They were gonna die to the Banshee though. Battle cruisers teleport. Teleport to the other side. Now we could use a recall here, but we could also go for the slow process of walking there all the way, or in this case flying. Um, I guess we already know what's going to be happening. Oh, recall as the Nexus dies. It's another solid call. Wait, always wait till the last second with your recall. Makes the game more exciting, gives the Terran a chance to escape as well. Very brilliant move. You love to see it. By the way, I think we should have a little bit of a battle cruiser teleport counter. So, so far we've seen a single teleport, 15 minutes into the game, okay? Very often when people say they're going crazy because of battle cruiser teleports, what really happens is they teleport once or twice, they get caught completely out of position, they forget they have the recall ability, um, they have no map vision whatsoever, and they die. Now, one good thing you can do against battle cruisers is to have vision everywhere, because battle cruisers can only teleport once. So imagine you have vision on this side, over here, uh, with like a pylon or whatever, and you see the battle cruisers there, you can just go to those battle cruisers, and then if they teleport anywhere else into your base, you will kill them. They can't escape anymore. And that's kind of the beauty. You can also use oracles to uh, to tag your opponent's battle cruisers to see where they are going. You can use observers for vision. You can use a mothership for recall, for getting a second recall. First of all, for having uh, for, uh, uh, offensive recalls. Oh, that's a couple of mines. We, uh, we have an observer with our army. Now... You see right now that there's like six mines. It might be wise to get something like a disruptor to deal with these mines, okay? One or two disruptors help so much. Otherwise, the mines will just be able to walk underneath your units. Now, this is... I, I want to go back here, okay? This should never happen. The moment the battle cruisers are near, you should be aware of that, and you should start shooting them with your Tempest, okay? That is the main goal of the Tempest, is that they have long range. That's why an Oracle is so important with it. You can use Revelation on your opponent's army, and it can just shoot from a distance, and that's, you know, from a distance. So you use a separate control group. Now, this is a foreign concept for a lot of people, separate control groups, but you do use separate control groups, and you use just the Tempest to go from a distance. And then you, your opponent either needs to fly away or attack into you, but you already will kill two, three battle cruisers before he even arrives at your army. Now, once again, disruptor here would be fantastic. Um, another thing that would be fantastic is if you'd have the tectonic destabilizer that helps your tempest do like five times the damage to buildings. Would actually be relatively helpful. Uh, oh my god, the only detection you have dies. This is fantastic. Oh, see, see how good Tempest are here? Look look at the power of the Tempest. It's absolutely destroying these uh, these battle cruisers. Now, it would be even better, once again, if you could actually see them from a distance, so you could continue shooting. If you could see these mines, so you could continue shooting those, rather than waiting them for to get their recharge, and then shooting again at all of your interceptors. Five more battle cruisers are on the way. I love that chicken decides to attack every single planetary except the one that makes sure that mining is possible. It's like, oh, I feel like this orbital command that can fly away is probably more important to attack than this planetary. Okay, now that we killed all of the useless planetaries and all of the useless orbitals, let me just fly to a different base to see if we can kill any planetaries there. Yep, there we go. Absolutely beautiful. That is a, a, a job well done. Truly a job well done. Well, taking out the turrets, maybe take out this tank as well, and then you can go to this base. There's still a few turrets and an orbital over there that you could potentially take out. Oh, now it gets distracted. This is like a, seeing a cat on a mission, and like turrets and, and, and useless planetaries are like the lasers, you know? Like this, this cat is on a mission, but oh, actually, we might get one. There's no way. Right click it, right click it. Nice, that's one. It only took us five planetaries, 15 turrets, and our own dead base to, to truly get it going. Here comes a little bit of a Thor rally, another classic. And these Thors aren't doing too hot. We still have no observer with this army, by the way. I was going to say, when do the mines show up for the fireworks? Yep, there we go. Beautiful. This is why I get a disruptor. One disruptor or two disruptors absolutely deal with this problem. Tectonic destabilizers really would have made this process a lot quicker. Don't forget that even though 
Chicken right now is killing a bunch of bases and is doing quite well. Chicken also is losing every single probe on her own side of the map against three battle cruisers that teleported. Now you could have said you could have warped in 15 stalkers and dealt with this. You could have uh, recalled back home five tempest and dealt with this. But another option, which is an option, I, I, I do kind of want to uh, state this. This is an option that very often doesn't get shown in higher level games, and people don't really tend to talk about it too much either. And there is the third option where instead of actually dealing with the problem, you just kind of pretend that the problem doesn't exist. This is like the, people tend to do this with their with their in laws, uh, people they don't like at work. You know, you just kind of pretend the person or a problem doesn't exist and hopefully it will go away i've been doing that with my taxes for the past five years um, so far they've uh, taken my car uh, all of my computer gear yeah, i hit this one in the closet so i can still record some videos but um, one day as long as i keep imagining hard enough i do hope that the taxman will uh, indefinitely go away and one that one when that day hits uh uh, I will tell you guys that this strategy for the first time ever actually was successful. Because I, I really do think in this case it probably would have been better to just warp in 10 stalkers rather than losing 2 bases and losing 40 probes. You also probably could have pulled away some of the workers to another base like this one. But um, I guess that will require 2 actions. Selecting the probes and then clicking on the minimap and then right clicking here. That does sound like a lot of trouble. I think just letting those bases die probably was better. This is kind of this kind of scares me for my future, you know, like getting a pet or something like that. And I had the, the pet is sick, you know, just let it be; it will fix itself. Like it's gonna be a major yikes there, guys. That's that's a scary prospect. <laughs> Even worse if I am sick and she'll just like, oh well, he'll he'll probably get better by himself. Oh, this is a good warp pin as well. The zealot warp pin rallied into the battle cruisers. Very smart. Zealot, uh, probably the only unit that you still want to build at this point that can shoot up. Instead, will be rallied into uh, two planetaries and 15 turrets. Some solid harass now, now realizes that there still is two planetaries. No, actually, that doesn't deter her. Decides to still send them in. Uh, plenty of money anyway. Let's see how good this trade was. So far, we've killed nothing and we've lost seven zealots. This guy is, he saw his mates going. He's like, ah, not today, mate. I'm. <laughs> This is the biologist of the bunch, he is studying the plants. Oh, that looks real nice. That looks real nice over here, guys. Sees the mules fall from the sky, two planetaries. Like, oh, look at this beautiful. I pretend that there's some interesting bugs in there, endangered species. Nice try, buddy. So right now the mining is looking pretty equal in, in terms of income. Um, the army composition actually is very, very good for chicken. It's so many tempests. The only thing we're really missing is anything to deal with the mines which have been a, a major issue. Um, unit loss tap is pretty close as well. Probably want to be getting a couple of probes back. Oh, actually we have plenty of probes, we just need another base. Or probably need to send a probe to the correct base. Overworking, uh, once again, efficiency is key here. Or the reverse efficiency, as I had coined that term. Oh, Zealot decides now is the time. That probably was an F2A move. I'm gonna, gonna guess that was an F2A move. Is there any units anywhere else? We have some Tempest here, so maybe it wasn't. Like, actually, the tectonic destabilizers would have been really nice this game. The amount of buildings that have gone down on the Terran side, and the amount of buildings that could have gone down, uh, probably, I'm not even sure how much extra damage it does, but it feels like you can basically, like, two-shot planetaries with this amount of Tempest once you get tectonic destabilizers. I mean, Chicken's army is still looking super solid. Just super, super solid. Um... The income is also actually better than the opponents. We're just missing missing disruptors. Maybe like some ground arm, even just a couple of stalkers, and then one, two disruptors, even two, three colossi would be sick against these mines. Like this 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 air army is never gonna kill those tempests, right? There's three Thors and what, ten battle cruisers? Yeah, that's just game. So, continuing to attack every single turret. Now taking out refineries as well, rather than going for mining bases. I guess if you have absolutely no clue that there's a mining base, then this probably is the correct call to make. It's very, very smart. Just by getting very little information, you can't be blamed for making incorrect calls because you can always just say, well, I had, I, had, I didn't know that, you know? It's kind of the, the trick that our government has been using for a while as well. 
It's a nice one. Maybe chicken has a good future in politics. Oh, here come the mines. Now aware of the mines once again. No observer with this because you wouldn't want to accidentally see the mines. Once again, if you can't see the problem, the problem isn't really there. Very, very nice. Are we going to see a... Uh, a recall or are we going to go for the same strategy as earlier it seems like once again a similar approach as as earlier not this time oh we actually have some tempest in the main base that probably were semi forgotten but this is gonna do very well against these battle cruisers maybe want to use these three as well um, but then again you probably oh where did these uh, guys teleport i mean not a bad fight once again for chicken still having some issues with these uh, mines uh boof. Yeah, maybe you want to just get an observer. Maybe you don't even need a disruptor, but just being able to see them would be nice. Now teleport to the other side. I feel like this is the second teleport we've seen so far. Yeah, this must be making you crazy, all of these teleports. That's insane. Twenty-three workers right now. So you would feel that there might be some urgency behind the gameplay of chicken. I mean, Chicken is down 40 workers, it's on half a mining base. Um, there's now as many probes long distance mining this base as there is mining this one. There's as many probes oversaturating this gas as there's probes mining this base. You love to see it. Any extra probes? I might just want to build a couple extra probes. I mean, you still have 3600 minerals and you have like five next size, so you can actually still build probes at a very rapid speed. Probably could have been back at like 50 at this point if you would have continued doing that. <sighs> now, solid map vision once again out of chicken, making sure that uh, none of the threats are being perceived before they actually arrive at the base. Very, very good. What is this? 17 Tempest against 7 Vikings and 5 battle cruisers. Now if you could see this army move in, it probably wouldn't be too much of an issue. I mean these Hellbats don't do too much. Once again, a single disruptor would take care of the, the massive issue that those mines are. Um, instead, oh, don't recall into this. Okay, thank god there's no recall. I wouldn't have uh, put it past Chicken, honestly. Thor's taking out the, or the, the simulator. Zealot's going in ahead of the army, smart. Oh. I like that there's like eight, no, come on. <laughs> oh, there's a second one. He's the backup observer. <laughs> That's a legendary move, honestly. Yeah, I wonder how this fight will go. Oh, teleports out. Mines, mines. I mean, not a bad fight. The, the, the problem that I have here, though, for Chicken is that um, there seems to be no sense of... Oh, okay, it's a good recall, actually. I like that recall. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. See, this is why... Okay, this is the third teleport, by the way. This is why these teleports aren't that good if you do them aggressively. You see three more battle cruisers being read into this. Might want to focus fire a little bit on one of them. Um, could also... I like that all the damage is split to make sure that all of the Yamatos go off. Oh, there we go. I want to right click this. Yep, there. Okay. So that was a six Tempest straight against three battle cruisers and only get two of them. Then the Tempest go here. I feel like Chicken would realize now that the sensor tower has been built or that there might be a base. The Chicken actually think that this was it. After these two top bases, like, oh, clean the part of the problem. We'll be fine from now. Ten workers left. Now is the time to start rebuilding workers again. Smart type of intelligent play you you kind of expect after seeing the rest of the gameplay three tempest six it's gonna make a total of ten um i feel like these eight mines will be good enough because there's no observer anymore i think pure mine okay come on come on chicken move forward oh dang flab it more turrets let me just stand in turret range as well longest range unit in the game still managed to fly into turret range this has to be an ability uh, as well Chicken make one hell of a superhero. Da -da 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 -da. I'm always in range of whatever's trying to shoot me. Actually lose to a shotgun while having a sniper rifle. Right clicks the refinery. I mean, army is still nice. And maybe if there was some kiting or, uh, y you know, just any micro whatsoever, that would be... 
Was that stutter stepping with Tempest? Ah, let's do that in the replay. Look at this. Realizing the Vikings are going to retreat, Chicken flies in to stutter step already. Just preempting the flyaway. That's a high level move. That is high level, honestly. I don't care. The rest of the game, I don't. E I don't even care anymore. This is this is brilliant. Oh, here come the mines. The mines probably have done the most so far this game. Boop. Yeah, might want to turn around, shoot them. Hello. Yes, shoot the one that already fired. The only one that. Yeah, go back back to SCVs. You love to see it. Poof. Poof. Mm. Very unfortunate. Again, no vision. Maybe want to get another backup boy. Backup boy. Let me see. Our Terran kind of realizes he's so far ahead. Doesn't even care about producing anymore. He, he, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> he's 6k, 2k in the bank. His priority is getting a refinery rather than producing some units. That's when you know you're confident, you know? If Chicken had done this, we would have called it bad. Because it's the Terran. We know it's confidence. Utter confidence. Yes, it's... Two mines blocking his CC as well. Double planetary turrets over here. I love this playstyle, by the way. This is great to see. This is why I like watching lower level games as well. Because, you, you know, you just see these things and you're like, yeah, that's freaking cool. That's actually freaking a robotics facility. Oh, lost the robotics facility. Can't build observers anymore. Maybe could have considered getting an Oracle finally. So what have we lost so far this game? 35 Tempest. Eight carriers. <laughs> what has the Terran lost so far this game? 30 battle cruisers, eight tours, 25 mines. Still 17 mines here. The, the Terran army actually is looking pretty weak right now. But after Chicken realized that there was a base here and probably a base here, and at this point probably bases everywhere again, Chicken decided that um, the longer the game goes, it might be better because there's more minerals available on chicken side of the map. Look here. Still have lots of minerals here. The other guy is mining out faster. So even though you're being outmined uh, about tenfold, this is really quite smart. And they always say uh, slow and steady wins the race. But I have a feeling that chicken is going so slow and steady that we might never see the end of this game if uh, chicken were to win this race. Moves in. I'm afraid of these eight mines. Once again, there's a planetary that's not mining. Of course, gets priority over everything else that's happening on the map. Wait, we actually have two true revelators. Is this the first time we get these? That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. That's absolutely amazing. Why is our Terran just not building anything? Maybe he went to get like a beer or something like that. Now he's just watching the game unfold. Look at this. The chick is going to fly into my mind one more time. <laughs> <laughs> we make a planetary out of this as well. What's the APM of the Terran currently? I think he's actually just playing with one hand or just scrolling around the map. Base is under he's just looking at things. Like, he doesn't give a crap whether this is being taken out or not. This chick is probably going to take out the turrets in this planetary and then move on towards this one because it's not mining anymore. Take out these two refineries. Wouldn't want to actually try to deny any real mining. This is fantastic. Oh, we, we have some units being produced. That's an issue. That's a real issue. I can't believe this game is still going on, though. What's the mine count currently? 15. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, base actually does get taken out. You love to see it. Let's see what the rest of these tempers are. Oh, okay. yeah, these two refineries, of course. Wouldn't want any long distance mining going down. Well, here, there's still a bunch of refineries mining, regular distance mining. Tempest go on to the next planetary that isn't mining. Maybe take out these refineries. Yep, there, of course. There's a turret behind there that could potentially be annoying. Imagine, for example, if you want to send a prism down here into these turrets. So you're like, I don't want to lose my prism to these, but these uh, might kill it. And I, I think it's a good call to take out these turrets and also kill the refineries so they don't get spotted. Uh, chicken disagrees for whatever reason. But in another dimension, I could have seen it happen. Now, attacks... Uh, with full confidence into this army. Doesn't use the revelation, so not really utilizing the complete range of the Tempest for uh, the 32nd minute straight in this game so far. Stasis wards also could have helped against the mines, by the way. Okay, yeah. So the mines explode, and I guess that's actually just going... 
<laughs> the Terran GG. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a prick, but <laughs> that guy is a prick. I don't like that. I did, that was a nice shit, Luxor. Okay, you should have. You won already. All right. You destroyed Chica. You, sh you should have left it with that, buddy. You should have left it with that. But. But. Um, yeah. Let, let, let's think about the game. Let's think about that, 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 that initial. What did it say again? The imbalance complaint form. Play against a turtle terror made a wall with a planetary. I mean, it wasn't really a wall. It's, I'm, I'm wondering if this is considered an easy wall. I think this would be considered an easy wall. Yeah, that was a that was an easy wall with a planetary and a bunch of turrets. I, to be precise, three four eight two nine oh four eight is that trillion? Three trillion turrets. They just made defensive planetaries and turrets. Chicken maybe thinks it's multiple people. They just made defensive planetaries and turrets. Nice. How am I ever supposed to attack into this? Widow mines being burrowed and unburrowed to chase and kill my times. I don't think there was a lot of chasing going on. This was more of a, a static movement, you know, like it just where I'm not sure if you call it chasing. If the, the person you're chasing is standing still, it's like I got chased by someone with a knife. And then if you don't run away, is it really a chase or is it just coming up to you? I felt I felt like the minds were more coming up to you because I don't think there was a single time where you actually ran away which once again it scares me for your life in real life what happens if you actually will get chased by someone would you go help i'm being chased please stop chasing me it's like well you're not really moving it's just com coming up to you um so there's maybe something to work on there um widow mines being burrowed in numbers okay can we talk about bc's teleporting i think we counted three teleports though maybe four maybe i missed one i don't know counting uh, like i said after i got kicked out of elementary school never quite recovered from there but i think somewhere around three and four um so yeah i i don't think it is and and that leads me to this one thing i am sorry to say but you leave me absolutely no choice you my friend you just really freaking Dear YouTube, I am doing fine. I'm being loved, treated with respect, and I'm being fed daily as well. I'm currently at an undisclosed location. Do not look for me. I went here voluntarily and I do not wish to be found right now. The reason I went here is because I was about to make a big mistake and call the game that Chicken played a suck on her part. Well, now I realized that this is actually extremely imbalanced. I cannot say anything else except, yes, this is imbalanced. I have my own reasons for this. And there are very good reasons for me to say this right now. Please, once again, do not look for me. I am doing fine. Thank you for watching.